Hello, my name is Liu Junji, metric ID CA191115. I will going to present the P requirement for the GBS Gym Booking System. First, we are using the MySQL database to store the data, so we need to create an empty database. In this process, we are using the GBS DB. Make sure it's an empty set. Next, we, are, we need to install the driver into the libraries. We are using the MySQL connector Java 8.0.24. Next, we need to change the username and the password to connect the database. So we can find the package database, database.java, open, and we, we need to change the username and the password. For example, the, the username is root and the password is 123456. That's all, thank you. My name is Leong Weichi with the matrix number CA191104. Today, I will be presenting the login for gym booking system. So for the login, we're having two categories, which is admin login and customer login. First, I need to talk about the, is the admin login. So admin can log into the system by using the default username as well as the password. So they're having the username as admin as well as the password as admin. So next, I will show you how to log in as an admin. So this is our login interface where we need to key in our username as well as our password. So um. We, when we log in as an admin, we need to key in our username as admin as well as password also as same as admin. Then we click the login. So once we click the login ready, we will be uh, direct to the admin menu. So when we direct to the admin menu, this shows that admins already inside the admin menu. That means like we already log in successfully. So next is the customer login. So before a customer able to log into the gym booking system, they need to register themselves first. So we have initialized few customer data as shown as below. So here I'm going to show you how to log in as a customer. We have our login interface. Click the register button. So it will pop up a register interface for us. So from here we can key in our detail. Then we click the register button. So now, once we register successfully already, they will pop up a register success message. So when we click the OK, it will redirect back to the login page. So once we direct back to the login interface, we are able to key in our username and our password that we set previously. Then we just click the login. So once we uh, log in successfully, we can see that there will be a pop-up interface which is gym booking menu. So in this gym booking menu, show that we already successfully log in as a customer. So from here, we already done my account which is Leong Wei Chi, as well as we can also repeat the same step to complete others account. So that's off here, we already done. My name is Colin Lam. My matches is CA 191102 Now I will present about the managing room test log. Gym room and test log only accessible by admin when they are logged into the admin account. Admin click the managing room. The admin can add, edit, delete, view, and exit the managing room. Now I will give a new name for the gym room. Room 1. When the level is full, then I click the set. Then it will pop out a Windows and told us that we have successfully had the new gym room and will return back. Now we can view the gym room at the view and we can also edit the gym room by select the drop down menu and we can change the room name to room tray for example and change the tab to silver and click the save and we will scroll up a option one as to we need to save or not okay. back then we can view that the room name already changed to room tree and the level of already changed to the silver and we also can delete the gym room right? and click the delete and yes and we view again the gym room already disappeared now we are going to manage time slot and i mean click the manage time slot we can add the time slot like from 8 a.m. to the same and we can view the time slot in the view button. We also can edit the time slot by click the drop down menu and change the time to 8 30 morning to 12 afternoon and click the edit button. And it will test and we can view that the time slot already changed to 8 30 and end with 12. We also can delete the time slot by click and click the delete and yes, we can view that. The test are already to do. Thank you for previous presenter. Uh, I good day for Madam and my 
fellow customer. Uh, I will continue my part, manage customer and view all booking. My name is Kong Chun. My please, my manager's number is CA19108. Inside the manage customer, you can edit, delete, and show uh and show. Select which one uh which one customer you want to edit and you edit in this column and you click save. So now you done uh edit edit the you, you done edit the customer information and next is delete. Delete uh the customer must delete their booking first so you can delete so you can continue delete uh the customer information in manage customer. Okay, now the customer is deleted and you click show you can see how you can see how many customer inside this booking and information and now is next is view all booking view all booking is you can know you can you can see the when the customer booking when the uh customer booking that uh gym room selected and time slot selected by the customer okay that's all for my part good day to madam i'm on Huiji and i'm going to introduce a customer menu interface so first of all customer menu is an interface that after the login page and if the user category is customer user can choose the add edit delete view booking or personal detail or wrap out and for the add booking we can choose the gym room id and the time slot id released by the admin and the booking date is unable to edit and after we press the add the booking record will be added and next is edit we can choose the id we want to edit like the gym id and the time id just now i will change to three same the date is also unable to change and i can save the press the save button and the confirm then the edit is done if i press no or cancel then will nothing happen and next is delete booking we can choose the id to be delete and i will delete the booking for previous one the booking one same the no and cancel is nothing and once i press the yes then it will be delete so in the wheel booking we can see the record we have met before and the booking one already ha have been delayed left the two and the gym room id and time slot id have been changed we can only able to view our own detail uh, on booking record next is personal detail all the personal detail are unable to edit only the admin can edit it so the last is lockout so we will back to the login page so that's all from me